Messaging is power, and shifting perspective with that message is powerful. So what do I mean? Your words can cause major impact already, and they already do. So I'm gonna tell you guys a story. It's not about me, it's about my friend Kyle. Kyle is a, a LA City lifeguard, he's a captain, he's a, a, a lifeguard, he's, he's um, a friend, he's a husband, he's a father, he means a lot to a lot of people. Kyle gets a call one day, and this is a true story, he gets a call one day on the radio and he says, there's a, the call says there's a deer in the water, he works out here in Malibu, he says there's a deer in the water. He's like, a deer in the water? I'm like, okay, great. Like, thanks for calling it in. Like, what do, we, what do you guys want us to do? We can't really do anything. Like, what do I want to do? Go put a life vest on it, pull it out of the water? We can't do anything. But there are three women on the beach, the typical, and I have nothing against them, but just to paint, paint the picture, <laughs> just to paint the picture, the typical Malibu woman carrying their Starbucks cup, like with their little dogs, walking on the beach, and they make a big deal about this and they're making a big deal on the beach and they're saying, oh, we need to save this deer. We need to go get this deer. You guys need to get out there and go get the deer. And then they rally up more people on the beach and yeah, the lifeguard, you need to get that deer. What's the deer gonna do? It's a living being and blah, 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 blah. And then the lifeguard on the beach calls in and he's like, you really need to go get the deer. And so he's the captain and he's just like, we're not gonna go get the deer. There's nothing we can do. It'll get tired, it'll turn around or it'll just drown, but there's, we can't do anything. We can't even save it. Like, tell me how we're gonna do it. And, um, and he's like, I'm not putting people's lives at risk to go save the deer that we can't save. So the women on the beach get more people enrolled in their mission of saving this deer. So they go out there and they get more people and the lifeguards know, I think you really need to at least go like try to do it. At least go out there, make them think you're doing it. So Kyle gets his crew, they get in the boat, they're driving on through the water. They find the deer and he's like talking to all the other lifeguards on the boat and he goes, we're not really gonna do this, right guys? And now, all of the people on the boat are being enrolled by the women on the beach and they're like, Kyle, maybe we should try. Maybe we should try to save this deer. And he's like, well, no, there's no way. And then they make a big deal and now these three women on the beach have gotten the entire beach and then they got all the other lifeguards. Everyone except for Kyle is on this save the deer mission. <laughs> so guy, Kyle goes, I guess I gotta go save the deer. So he jumps into the water and he has one of those floaty things, like those things you would wrap around, and he's swimming out to the deer, and he's like, I cannot believe I'm swimming out to a deer in the water trying to put this thing. And he gets to the deer, and he takes the thing, and he's like trying to put it on the deer, and he's struggling, he's getting kicked in the stomach by this deer, and he's like, I'm just trying to save your life, like knock it off, and this deer's coming in. And he finally clips the, the thing around the deer, and the deer now is floating, and he looks up, and he sees one of the biggest waves he's ever seen in his entire life and he has nothing to support him. And he goes, crap. And he goes, here we go. And he just goes, boom. And he gets slaughtered by this wave. It's pulling him under, he's losing his breath. He's struggling to breathe. He's been getting kicked in the stomach for like five minutes while he's trying to save this deer. And he comes up and <gasps> gets that breath of air and he sees another wave about to hit him. And he has this thought in his head, he's like, this is how I die. I'm, di I'm dead. I'm literally dying trying to save a deer that I did not want to save. <laughs> and which is a pretty heroic thing for Kyle. I have so much respect for Kyle because of this. But he's like, I'm gonna die. And he gets hit by the wave and he gets slammed on the ground and it's, he's already really shallow, so he actually hits the ground, but he's still underwater, and he can't breathe, and then slam locks even more wind out of his lungs, and he just is like trying to just be positive, and he's like, I'm, I'm dead. That thought, I'm dead. My son's gonna grow up without a father. My wife is gonna be a widow. This is my life at 35, and I'm done. And from some miracle, he makes it up on shore, and he opens his eyes and he realizes, I'm breathing, I'm alive, I did it. And he looks over and the deer is right there. <laughs> no joke, broken neck and dead. Yeah, the deer died anyways. And then the three women on the beach come walking over, they look down and they go, that's a shame. And they just walk off. They didn't even care and he almost died. Now the message that this story brings 
is what the women did is they enrolled everyone around them into what they believed in, and they actually made something happen. There's two, two, two uh, points to the story. That's what we should be doing with our messaging. If you truly believe in something, it's so important for you guys to enroll the people around you to stand into that message and to make the change that you want. And when you can rally up enough people and you can enroll people into what you believe, you start to create a movement. And that's what those women did. The second uh, moral of this story is that we can't care about the haters. We can't be bent by what other people are saying because we can literally die. We may not be dying like Kyle almost died, but the inside of us will die. And a lot of you guys are feeling that right now. And at the end of the day, when we're letting haters and people dictate everything, the haters are gonna make their comment and they're just gonna walk away like those women did on the beach. They didn't even care. And they're gonna walk away and the haters are gonna do the same thing. But now Kyle lives with this story, which is a good story because now I get to use it at my events and stuff, but it's, <laughs> and it is a good story, but he almost died over something they really didn't even care about. And so what happens is when we, wor we worry about the fear and we worry about the judgment, it's literally killing us on the inside and those people just, they don't even care. They make their comment, they move on, and you're not even in their brain anymore, yet we let them continue to kill us on the inside. Mm -hmm.